Hello and welcome to another video from ThinkNix Technologies. In this video, we will dive into the roles and responsibilities of DevOps, SRD and platform engineering. You might be wondering, aren't these roles basically the same? Well, they are not and we will explore exactly how they differ. To understand these specialized roles better, it's crucial to first grasp the foundational positions they build upon. By getting a clear picture of the existing roles in a software development environment, we can see how DevOps, SRE and platform engineering fit in and enhance these traditional functions. First, we have clients. They define the requirements, the end users or businesses relying on the software solutions to solve their problems. Everything we do stems from their needs. Next are the developers. These are the creative minds write the code that bring client ideas to life. They build features, fix bugs and ensure the software functions as intended. Then there is the testing team. Testers ensure the software is reliable and meets client's requirements. They identify issues before the product reaches the end user, ensuring it's polished and ready for deployment. Finally, we have the operations team. These individuals keep the software running smoothly in the real world. They manage infrastructure, deploy updates and monitor systems to ensure everything remains operational. Now, let's dive into DevOps. DevOps unifies development and operations teams for seamless collaboration. Traditionally, developers wrote the code and operations team was responsible for deploying and managing it. This often led to a disconnect. Developers might not fully understand the operational challenges and operations team might struggle with deploying changes quickly. DevOps was introduced to address this gap by fostering collaboration between these two teams. DevOps engineers specialize in automating and optimizing the software development process. They work on CI-CD pipelines to ensure code changes are automatically tested, integrated, and deployed. This approach enables faster, more reliable software delivery with fewer errors. Key skills for DevOps engineers include CI-CD tools such as Jenkins GitLab CI-CD, scripting languages such as Python and Bash, configuration management using tools such as Ansible and Puppet, and containerization using tools such as Docker and Podman. Next, let's discuss Site Reliability Engineering or SRE. While DevOps focuses on collaboration between development and operations, SRE applies a software engineering approach to IT operations. SREs are tasked with maintaining the reliability and uptime of systems. They use software engineering principles to automate tasks like incident response and system management, which were traditionally handled manually. A key concept in SRE is error budgets, which balances reliability with the need for rapid feature deployment. SREs also focus on monitoring, alerting, and performance tuning to quickly address issues and minimize user impact. Key skills for SREs include monitoring and alerting tools such as Prometheus and Grafana, automation and scripting using programming languages like Python and Go, Incident management and response using tools such as PagerDuty, status page, performance tuning and optimization using tools such as Datadog and New Relic. Finally, let's talk about platform engineering. 
while devops and sre focus on collaboration and reliability platform engineering is centered around creating a robust scalable platform for developers to build deploy and manage applications platform engineers design and maintain the infrastructure tools and workflows that enable developers to work efficiently they provide self service capabilities such as managing kubernetes clusters and setting up ci cd pipelines ensuring the platform scales with demand e skills for platform engineers include infrastructure as code tools such as terraform aws cloud formation container orchestration tools such as kubernetes and docker swarm ci cd pipeline management using tools such as jenkins gitlab ci cd and using cloud platforms such as aws and azure let's understand the roles better through an example imagine your company is launching a new feature for its online payment system Developers write the code and DevOps engineers set up a Jenkins pipeline to automate testing and deployment. When the code is committed to the repository, Jenkins automatically runs tests, integrates the code and deploys it to a staging environment. This automation ensures that the feature is tested and released quickly, minimizing manual errors and accelerating the deployment cycle. As the new online payment feature is developed, platform engineers set up and manage a Kubernetes cluster to run microservices. They use Terraform to automate cloud resource provisioning and configure CI/CD pipelines to ensure that code changes are deployed seamlessly. They also make sure that the platform scales according to the application's needs, providing developers with a reliable environment for building and deploying features. During the launch of the new online payment feature, your e-commerce site experiences a surge in traffic. SREs monitor system performance with tools like Prometheus and Grafana. When they detect high latency, they automatically scale the infrastructure to handle the load. SREs also use the error budget to decide whether to stabilize the system or continue rolling out new features. Their quick responses minimizes downtime and ensures a smooth experience for users. In summary, while DevOps, SRE and platform engineering each play distinct roles, they collectively contribute to a well-oiled software development and delivery machine. DevOps enhances collaboration and automation between development and operations. SRE ensures system reliability and performance with the software engineering approach and platform engineering builds and maintains the infrastructure and tools that support development and operations. And that wraps up our discussion on DevOps, SRE and platform engineering. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.